chocolatiers in the nation is from Seattle. France Chocolates started by University of Washington graduate Fran Bigelow nearly 40 years ago. And today, their salted caramels, by the way, are my very favorite. And chocolate-dipped figs have made it onto Ellen's favorite things list. She's showing us how you can give some of those yeah. as gifts. Hi, Ellen. Hey, good morning, Liz. You know, Liz, you and I have bonded over a lot of things over the years. You know, we're both from Michigan. We both really love Fran's salted caramel chocolates, which is something that actually you turned me on to. Um, and so we had to take you inside of the real life chocolate factory. We're including Fran's in the Ellen's favorite things list. You know, I mean, look, this advent calendar, it's the 11th, right? So what do we have in here today? Hold on, let's see. Look at that, man. Liz already beat me to it, man. It's empty. All right, but you know what? I know a place where we can get even more chocolate. Also, let me introduce you to Andrina Bigelow. This is uh, Fran's daughter, but more than Fran's daughter. She's the one that's, man, helping take this business to the next level. You, your mom, your brother, all a part of this, too. Let's talk about some of the hard work that we put into this morning and what we got in these boxes, because, you know, we slaved away. We slaved away putting all this together. What do we got? Absolutely. So these are some of our fruit boxes, and in particular, our um, four-piece double chocolate figs. Which so is what we is did last hour. Where yeah. Ellen's double chocolate figs <laughs> landed in this beautiful four-piece box. Trust I me, no one wants to eat my, my chocolate figs. <laughs> I messed exactly. up on those. We let the professionals deal with that. But Absolutely. we are inside your Georgetown location right now where this is open year-round, right? And we can try all of these chocolates Absolutely. and sample so everything. We in. always have our case of chocolates and customers can custom pack a box. So oh. any chocolates they want um, can find their, self, um, find their way into a box. Uh, or in their mouth. You know, I'm just saying, speaking from personal experience, I've had a lot of chocolate this morning. So if I'm talking extra fast, that is why. So Christmas boxes, I'm noticing even Hanukkah stuff too, right? Absolutely. Special for the holidays. What do we have here? So we have some Hanukkah selections. Our pressed fig is a favorite. So this is a pressed fig in dark chocolate wrapped in gold Ooh. foil. And then we have um, some chocolates to try here if you want. Okay. One of the um, my favorites is this coconut gold bar. So it's a... <sighs> white chocolate with a little bit of rum um, and cream. Okay. And then it has a roasted almond and dipped in dark chocolate. So that is a favorite and a great stocking stuffer. Might have to try that here in a second. And then it, it doesn't stop here because, wait, syrups and hot chocolate. And Absolutely. We, I, we also have to talk real quickly. You guys are obviously Seattle-based, local, Seattle, everything, um, but you guys just went international why japan how did that even come about absolutely so we just um, partnered with a wonderful team over in uh, kyoto and kobe the ball team and they opened two fran stores as a partner so we are um, shipping all of our product from right. here in um, you know a temperature controlled and we opened two beautiful stores last week in, in Japan. Literally last week and this was something like I just want you guys at home to understand how big of a deal this is because Fran, Andrina's mom, is a UW graduate right? She had this idea long ago that she wanted to be this entrepreneur. She had this idea but of course you know being a woman in business especially back then was a little bit more difficult than say being a man in business right but she made this happen. It's been very important for you guys to stay in Seattle but you found this partnership in Japan and now you guys are international did you ever think that this Franz chocolate that was so tiny right that started out so small would go international and we never did we never thought we would have stores outside of Seattle right um, and then we just met this partner who was so inspired uh, to bring our product to Japan right and when we went over there and saw the stores and talked to them, right talked to the team we realized they could they could execute you know the quality that we wanted and talk um, about it's, yeah it's amazing it's amazing talk about supporting local so uh, France chocolates I'm just saying they're on the Ellen's favorite list things for a reason. Come on by, check them out. Uh, I'll put more details up on our website at q13fox.com slash Ellen. Guys, back on over to you. Oh, enjoy. Mm -hmm. Ellen, that looks so good. All right. I will. <laughs> for all of us. <laughs>